Breathe in the spirit's life, the hope, the comfort, the presence of our God. Breathe out that stress and anxiety and worry. Breathe in God's goodness, God's love for you. Breathe out whatever you're hanging on to. Maybe take a moment to fully stretch yourself, reach up to the sky, roll your shoulders, all those places where we hold tension. Breathe in and breathe out. We're just taking a moment to remember those moments of joy these last few days. Where did you smile? Where did you laugh? We hold in our hearts closely those moments of difficulty. Where did you find yourself hurting? Where were there tears? Know that God is with you through this moment in all these moments, in the laughter, in the tears, in it all. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. We come together during this time <clears throat> for prayer, for peace, for comfort, to see faces that are familiar to us, that bring us joy. We come together to lift our hearts to the God who loves us, who reaches out to us, and who never lets us go. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. I hope you can find smiles and joys in the noises of my co-ministers this afternoon, our puppy and our toddler and my dear sweet spouse who is trying his very best to help with some of the background noise for our time together today. But in all of this, we know that God is here, that God is present, and that we are not alone. I invite you to join me now in prayer. Our reading for this afternoon comes from Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me out. O oh Lord, you have known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there, your hand will lead me, and your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, shadows are not dark to you, the night is as bright as the day. Shadows and light to you are both alike. For you yourself create my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs, yet unfinished in the womb, all of them were written in your book. My days were fashioned before they came to be. How deep I find your thoughts, O oh God. How great is the sum of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
in the midst of this troubling time, in the midst of our stresses, of our boredom, of our isolation, of our worries and heartbreaks and fears, God is with us. We cannot get away from God. God continues to reach after us, to surround us with God's presence. God is here. God is there with you wherever you might be right now. You are not alone. Breathe in deeply. Breathe in the spirit of life. Breathe out completely. Take these moments. Take these moments to just listen for God. Find moments of smiles. Find moments of tears. Find moments to just be. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen for your voice to know again that you are God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you are near us, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts. Then take us by the hand into each day that lies ahead. For where you lead, we can confidently go with Jesus Christ, our Lord. I invite you to join me in lifting up the prayers of those who have shared on Facebook, who have sent emails and phone calls and messages to our church as we lift up all of our prayers together. We pray for Eric Arnitz, for his safety working in the hospital, for Ardith and Rick's daughter-in-law working in the hospital in Washington, for all healthcare workers and for their safety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Kay's grandma and her family as her health declines and family are unable to see her. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. From Nick, we pray for all of those feeling overwhelmed with anxiety and fear right now, including himself not knowing what will be happening one day to the next can be so overwhelming with all of the questions and worries and racing minds with all of the what ifs that we can imagine we pray for calmness and reassurance and strength lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray for eric kister and for lee and shelly limpic for eric for continued healing for all three of them as they drive home safely from OHSU today, we pray that your presence be with them, Lord, and bring them home safely and continue to give Eric healing. We pray for all those who are struggling to stay calm, that God's comfort might be there. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are essential workers, for grocery store clerks, for warehouse workers, for childcare providers, for all of those working in utilities, for all of those who are continuing to make our world run while we stay at home and stay safe. Lord, in your mercy, we hear your, our prayer. We pray for healing and comfort and peace that all are able to lift up prayers and safely follow the measures that are called for to protect each other. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Marlene Ron, for Beth Milheiser's sister Donna in ICU in Portland with a fever and severe pneumonia. We pray for her family as they miss her. We lift up prayers of thanksgiving for my own sister, Olivia, for her negative coronavirus test. We lift up prayers of thanksgiving for the healing that she has already experienced. We also ask for prayers for my own family and my mom with her business and all businesses that are affected by the shutdowns. We pray for those who are worried over financial burdens. We pray for those who are dealing with the stress of the unknown right now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for Wayne Spriggle's brother, Lanny, who is very sick in the hospital in Pasco with liver problems, whose wife is unable to see him. May he know her love for her and God's presence around him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the Muller family, for Sharon Ann, for the Taco family, for Ruth Sealer, for Ray Davenport, for the Milheiser family, the Custer family, for Alicia Gates, for the Reese family, for Barb Clausen, for the Yaki family, for the Hicks family, for Amy Thibodeau, and for the Limpach family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, you hear all of our prayers, both spoken and unspoken. In this time now, I invite our congregation, wherever you are, to name your prayers out loud or in silence. Lord, in our mercy, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Oh God, you called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith this day with good courage, not knowing what might come next, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for a time of prayer. I hope that you continue to lift up your prayers through all of this. A few quick announcements before uh, we go off of Facebook Live. Uh, we'll be meeting here again on Zoom and Facebook Live and then later on YouTube on Saturdays. Uh, prayer time starts at noon. The Zoom call opens at 11.30 a.m. for fellowship. I hope you'll join us tomorrow for worship. Uh, the Zoom call will open at 9 o'clock for fellowship before our 9.30 worship service Sunday morning. My hope is to be able to stream it straight to Facebook Live, but there were some issues, um, not just our church, but several other churches had some problems with that last week. So if you log on at 9.30 on Facebook and it's not there yet, don't worry, we'll have a one o'clock p.m. watch party on Facebook, but I'm hoping that it will be able to be live um, as we were able to do just now, as that's such a nice way to be able to share with you. And then Wednesday night, we have our last Wednesday night Lenten service, and it will be 5.30 p.m. for the Zoom call, 6 p.m. for the actual worship together. And I hope you'll join us for all of these things. Continue to reach out to one another via phone call and video call and cards and all of the ways in which you're already connecting. It has been such a blessing to see all of the ways that God is caring for one another through us. And one of the prayers that I want to lift up before we go. Good and gracious God, I give you thanks for our church family, for our friends, for all of those who connect with us online and over the phone and reach out to make sure that we are all doing okay through this. Lord, I cannot thank you enough for each and every one of my church family. I am so thankful. And I am so thankful for the moments where I get to experience helping someone figure out Zoom so that way I can see their face and the joy and excitement in learning a new skill. Lord, I thank God for all of these people and for all of the ways you are continuing to share your spirit and your love and your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.